Hello and welcome. Um, this is Niels, I am Bram. We are from Amsterdam Water Sports and we've been teaching for a while uh, all the e-foiling and we're going to give you some explanation today. Yeah, we got a couple of different brands here, uh, e-foils, all top of the line. And we're gonna give you the full customer experience by unpacking them, putting them together, and also riding on the water to compare the difference between uh, the available boards on the market. Yeah, we're gonna try and give you all the information you need if you'd like to buy a board, uh, so you know which one you want and uh, what you like. Okay guys, this is the next brand, uh, Waveshark. The company has been there for a while. And uh, we got all this uh, equipment here. There's a similar bag uh, than the others. This one comes with wheels, however, so it's easy to carry around. Carbon fiber board, looks nice and smooth as well. And um, for the wing type, they gave us the, the cruiser wing. It is, uh, it's a relatively big wing, but it should be easy for beginners. So that is, uh, that is good. Charger on the other side with uh, like a sort of a normal uh, connector instead of uh, just uh, single wires. Then we have the, uh, the mast. It is an uh, aluminum mast as well. So uh, they're looking solid. And in this bag it has the, uh, the battery. We have the remote and uh, the leash to connect to the board. And uh, we're gonna put all of this together and uh, we're gonna test this board in the water. We're gonna first uh, assemble the uh, Wave Shark uh, board uh, with all, all its features. Uh, make sure before you start that your battery is charged from your remote and the main battery uh, so you are good to go. The mast. We're first gonna mount the mast on the board. Comes with four bolts. So um, make sure that you um, Hold the mast, connect the connector, just one connector. You put the mast in the board like that. Hold it with one hand so it doesn't fall over and damage anything. Stainless steel bolts I see. So make sure that you tighten the bolts properly so you don't lose your mast while you're <laughs> riding the board. So next thing up is the, uh, the wing. This is the cruiser wing today. Uh, we're gonna mount that one on here. So the first thing is uh, to mount this uh, centerpiece on the mast, like that. So this uh, should be mounted here on the top. Make sure you tighten the bolts properly, so you can see the wing is uh, on it. And then uh, the back part, this one comes with two bolts, same size. Tighten the bolts properly. So uh, next thing up is to install the battery, which we already fully charged. First thing you open these, uh, these locks like that, four of them on each uh, corner. Then um, you take the battery with the connector on the right side, you see, on the back side. Uh, it's just plug and play. You can just enter the battery like this. You press it down a little bit where the connector is, and then you close all the locks like that. Turn them around and press the rings on the lock. So that's it. So you can switch on the battery. Press short and then press long. It's switching on, you will hear a click and all the lights are lighting up. So uh, we installed the battery and uh, this board is ready to go. So guys, this is the Aerofoil brand. Uh, they're working with uh, Audi. They put their logo on it, but the brand of the uh, e-foil is uh, Aerofoils. Comes in a similar bag, you see, with the zipper, you can open the bag. Carbon fiber board as well. Uh, the shape looks uh, similar than others. This bag has all the uh, other small accessories you need. Uh, most important, of course, the, the mast. 
And this is a carbon fiber mast. So um, that's different than the aluminum ones from the, uh, from the other brands. And this one also comes with a uh, jet propulsion uh, motor. So we are curious how that will run in the water. Some of the brands start making them. Most of them are still the propellers, but uh, we're gonna try it out. Uh, for the rest, there's some, uh, some screws in there and some tools. And uh, we have the charger here and the remote. And then we have the battery. The battery uh, is in the box. Uh, it doesn't come with a, with a bag to carry the battery. We're gonna put this one uh, together and assemble everything and gonna test it out on the water. So uh, we're gonna mount uh, the German uh, aerofoil. Uh, starting with the mast, the carbon fiber mast. Uh, it has cables, as you can see. So you want to slide those in, inside the gap there and put the mast in. It comes with four bolts as well. So we're mounting the, uh, the four bolts in there. Make sure you hold on to the mast so it doesn't drop. So we tighten the last one with eight Newton meters and that's tight. And then we can start to set up the, uh, the wings we got with it. Yes. This also looks like uh, stainless steel bolts. And then there's the small wing, this one. Yeah, like that. It fits in there. Right. So we're tightening these bolts as well. Yes, so these are all uh, nice and tight and we're ready for the next thing. So we're going to install the battery on this uh, aerofoil. This one has a compartment, a closed compartment. So you have to open that first by opening these latches. Like this. Yeah, there it goes. Right. That is the compartment. Then the uh, battery, you have to connect the, uh, the cables to the battery actually. But you can first insert the battery in the board, like that. And then you uh, can connect, it's obvious, one is the red to the red and the black to the black. So that is uh, not super complicated. You can hear the click when you press it. And then this is the data cable. It goes in this opening here. And then we have the negative going on the black uh, connector. Press it and you hear the click. Yeah, the compartment can be closed. It has a seal here. So you can close it and then turn this compartment like that. It's ready to go in the water. So uh, we are ready to uh, ride the board. Uh, first we have to switch it on. So you switch it on uh, by this button on the battery. One press. The lights come on as well as the tail light on the back of the board. Also switch on the remote. One button here, press and hold. It vibrates, it switches on and it starts to look for the board. So I just came back uh, for the, from the ride on this uh, WaveShark e-foil. Easy to operate, it's very stable and uh, it is equipped with the uh, larger uh, wing. So uh, good for beginners and uh, yeah, it was a fun ride. All right, before we can ride this board, we have to uh, switch it on. So we already connected the battery inside there. The next step is to uh, switch on the uh, remote and you will be connected to the board. 
Select your mode. Motor locked, it says. Dismiss and ready to go. So uh, we just went on a, on a, on a ride on this Aerofoils uh, board. It's nice and stable. It's also uh, suitable for beginners. Uh, keep in mind, this board comes with a, a jet propulsion uh, motor. So uh, it's a little different than the other ones uh, with propellers. When the jet motor is coming out of the water, uh, you have no propulsion anymore, so you will fall. So keep that in mind when you're using a, a board like this with a jet uh, motor on it. For the rest, it's a very smooth ride and uh, we enjoyed it. So we went uh, for a ride on both of these boards, the Wave Shark and the uh, Aerofoils e-tron board. Uh, assembling the boards, pretty much the same, straightforward, you know, mounting the mast, same thing. Then. For the riding of these boards, uh, this is of course a different board because it has a, a jet motor in it instead of the uh, propeller. Uh, that changes the uh, riding experience a little bit. The main thing what I notice is that when the uh, jet motor is coming out of the water, you will fall right away. You know, there's no way you can stay up on the board again. Uh, but it handles very really smooth, uh, remote working good. The setup uh, of the remote was also easy, just uh, switch it on and off and it works. For the Wave Shark propeller, so uh, it's a little bit easier when you get out of the water with the propeller, you can still uh, manage to uh, stay on the board. Then the main difference between those boards is the price. Uh, this board is uh, about one and a half the price of this board, so that is uh, it's a big uh, difference. The uh, battery life of this one uh, is uh, significantly longer than uh, this one. So when it comes to weight, this board is much lighter, uh, but the, uh, of course the reason is uh, mainly the battery. The battery is smaller than uh, this battery. Uh, both boards are from carbon fiber, so that should not make much of a difference. The mast from this one is from carbon fiber as well, while this one has an aluminum mast. So the final conclusion for these uh, two boards is uh, based on the, uh, the price. Uh, the price of this one is much higher than, uh, than this one. But this one looks a bit nicer though, like uh, futuristic it looks. It has a good uh, large display on the, on the remote. But then uh, the price, of course, and the battery life. That is also one of the main things, because the Wave Shark has a much larger battery uh, than this Aerofoil. So finally, the overall conclusion, I would go for the Wave Shark. <laughs>